Indeed. Indeedly do. It's battle for you. Of battle the for you. Chris, I have a question for you. I maybe have an answer. We'll see. Who's the raddest? Um, that depends who we're talking about because that's what we're doing, isn't it? It's it's what we're doing. It's what we're doing. Chris, today is is you first of all roll that intro, man. Roll it. Thank you. <laughs> all right. Lots of loud noises there, but that's okay. That's fine. Hey, hey. That's that's why. All right. What do we got? What do we got? All right. What you do forgot we about this have? already? I didn't. I did not forget about that. You that's, forgot. That's ridiculous. You forgot. I didn't. It's very weird of me sitting in front of the board. Yeah. That's whenever, fine. whenever we do this in studio again, we're gonna have to work that out and figure that out. Oh yeah, we're totally gonna have to work. This um. Out. Cool. All right. Let's see, man. You we're like doing it? Battle of the Raddest. Let's see. What are we doing today? Battle today, of the Raddest. Chris. Where eighties weapons. Eighties weapons. No, no guns. No firearms. No firearm version. So these are all melee or whatever weapons you want you, you want to talk about. Okay, so you do me a favor, lean back a bit so the microphone can pick up your voice. <laughs> yeah, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's a little bit of a problem. All right. That's all right. So yeah, I don't know if you can see all of them. Doesn't matter. We're gonna we're gonna I'm go. Gonna I'm to, not gonna say them all off the top. You're if gonna you want to look, you can look. You're gonna have to slide. Slide it but towards gonna, you a little bit so they can see. We're gonna, we're gonna. Well, we're talking about this side right now, right? Okay. We're talking about this side. So, so, we so here have, we go in, in the in the first uh, little little section here. Yeah, you go. Yeah, you go. Okay. Oh, 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 things things are happening. Things that's are okay. Happening. okay. And that's fine. Totally cool. I'll read them off then. How about that? Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 It's okay. We're gonna start right up here though. It says lightsaber. Right. We're gonna start with. Lightsaber versus power glove. Now, how this works is you figure out, you figure out which one's the best. Uh, it moves up, right? right? And eventually, you come down to hey, these eight are going to whittle down to four, to two, down to one. That's how, and that's how bracket battle. The winner, works, the yeah. radis goes here, Chris. This is where the radis that's goes. That's the right radis, here. and Kenny, there can be only one, so that's how we work it. Yes. All right. So, All right. indeed, uh, Chris, round one. Uh, lightsaber and the power glove. First power glove. Talk okay. it out. We're gonna. I'm gonna talk it out, but I do need you to s s uh, stay stay a little bit back so you stay in focus and we can hear yes. you on your microphone. Yes. Video producing on the fly. That's what we're, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> lightsaber versus the power glove. Yeah. So. So all right. So now, if what do you know about the lightsaber? What do you know about um, it? Um, it's basically a lava powered blade. It's 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 an amazing. Tool slash weapon slash what what they call it the the lightsaber is the what of the Jedi the the I don't know something elegant from, weapon I have no idea something from the prequels an elegant weapon or something he, he calls it didn't he call it that no what did what did Obi Wan call it Ben Kenobi call it in Episode uh, Four he he said it was more elegant weapon civilized age yeah like yeah yeah right so um yeah so we, look everyone knows what a lightsaber does okay. Now everyone knows what the power glove does. Yeah. Now the power glove from where though? Okay, so now the power glove, of course, Lucas wielded it in. Uh, hold on. The wizard. Once it, excuse me. Wait, once again, the, the wizard. Right, can we just put this right here? Yeah, it's just wins. on the line for the yeah, the raddest. Wins. Yeah. Um. Although Lucas did call it so bad. It's so bad. He didn't say it's so rad. He said yeah, it's so it's bad. bad. But we're calling it rad because we don't want any copyright infringement. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So ours is the raddest. Yeah, so, all right. So yeah, but but the power glove. Um, Kevin Keen, if you're not if you're not familiar or privy, is uh, from Captain N, the game master. Yes. And he liked to use the power glove. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Did he? Did he? Captain N used the power glove. Yeah, he did. You sure? Yeah. Now I'm double cussing myself. He used the zapper and he had a belt with the, the, the thing on it. I thought he had the power glove. He didn't have the power glove? I don't think he had the power glove. I think uh, we're both a bunch of idiots. Well, either way, the power glove, let me just say this. The power glove is technically a more versatile implementation or tool. Mm -hmm. Is it considered a weapon? I don't think he used a power glove. Um... <clears throat> Okay, but but that's the thing. You're finding out the raddest, right? 
what's what's the raddest thing? What's the raddest thing you got going here, man? You can program the power glove to run rad racer, right. uh, punch out anything you want, man. You kind of like take that bad boy and you know? Yeah, right. Kinda Smells cool. like an '80s locker room in here. DW, it sure does. Welcome back. <laughs> Thanks for Thanks for hanging out with us. We're just getting started. We're on the first thing. We're doing? lightsaber versus the power glove. We're doing '80s weapons. Uh, that's what that's what we're rocking today. So lightsaber versus power glove. Listen, man, the lightsaber, the lightsaber is gonna beat everything. You know what I mean? Is and it you, the right? But but you don't know what else is on the board. No. Is it the raddest? No. Well, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people would consider that it's the raddest, and the lightsaber is an amazing weapon. It's really cool. I I enjoy a good lightsaber, but. In terms of like versatility and just like coolness, man, I'm gonna push the power glove through. Not through. You the are I'm right push off the power glove upset, through, upset. Because I just feel like the you know the lights the lightsaber it's just gonna win everything. Then and what's the point? I know, I know, but I, what I'm saying is that's that's because the that's lightsaber crazy. can cut through anything. It can't be stopped. It's yeah. you know what I mean. I got, but the power dude, glove fine. has got some versatile things. Yeah, happening. dude, right. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yes, it, it did. I tried to not do any projectile slash firearms. And is it talking really about weapon? DW in chat. So if, you, if you're just listening to this, DW in, in chat, we are live streaming. He's talking about the Ghostbusters reunion, which I didn't yeah. get to watch it as of. Us I, didn't, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't get to see so it. So no yet. spoilers. But um, he's talking about the uh, <laughs> talking about the uh, proton packs as a, a rat yeah. weapon. And that is, is a really rat weapon. weapon. What? I mean, I guess ghosts. It, it wasn't a, even a, a weapon, weapon against, against ghosts. ghosts. It just lassoed yeah. them and threw them into the trap, right? Yeah, but but it's still a weapon. It's it's their it? weapon. Yeah, if it's a tool. Yeah. yeah. Um, but anyway, let's anyway. Uh, let's right. move forward. Next, what? the identity disc from Tron. From Tron and Simon's. Uh, I put the flame whip here. From Simon, Simon Belmont's flame whip from Castlevania. Oh. Flame whip is pretty powerful. Okay, you're gonna have to help me out here because I'm not that much of a Castlevania head. All right, so I'm thinking the this was this was Castlevania what two. What could it you could do? You upgrade your whip. You could buy different whips in the game. There right. Okay, the I remember that. Whip, right. yeah. horn whip, morning star. Now, let me ask you a question. Yeah. It's a whip. You have a limited edition copy of this? Tron Legacy. Well, that's very cool. <laughs> I kind of like Tron Legacy. I didn't mind Tron Legacy. <laughs> I oh, didn't bless see it, you. Um. So could the whip okay besides whip things and kill things yeah. could you use it as like a lasso like and swing from things in the game uh castlevania 4 you were able to use it as like a uh you know like a vine swing you know you could swing uh that that game you couldn't no. all right it was just um, a super the the, a, the identity disc basically like a flame <laughs> you know the the uh, wow when i i guess i really did mess with the thing look at that Man, my, my green screen's looking pretty gross right now. Um, if, okay, the identity disc. Yeah. That you could use as a weapon. You could use as a shield. And yes, you could. And it held your identity. Correct. So. And you could throw it. You could, right? You could yeah. use it as, yeah, like you said, you could use it as a shield. You whack them together. You could do all kinds of cool I, stuff. I, um, I, you know. I'm gonna tell you, man. I think it's. I think the identity disc is gonna move forward because I think it's just a little more versatile, versatile than the whip, which Agreed. I know could be upgraded. Yeah. But you know, what's the raddest? Like a whip's just a whip. Yeah, you can put flames on it, but you're all right. right. But the tr with the disc, man. Ultimately, it's just a whip. You're you know right. What I'm saying. All right. All right. <clears throat> so there you go. There's there's the first two. Next one, we have the master sword. The master sword and Mario's hammer. Right. And Mario's hammer from Mario, from Green? Donkey Kong. Oh, Donkey get the hammer and Donkey Kong. Okay. Right. I mean, I guess if you say Mario three, you had the the Hammer Brothers suit. Um, right. You know. It's funny. I've had Tron Legacy DW since it came out on Blu-ray, and I've never I've never watched it. I've not never really? I've never seen the movie. You've never seen the movie. I never saw Tron Legacy. No. It's not bad. I saw Tron the original one. Um, only when it came out on DVD. Yeah. So it was a long time before I got to see that. I enjoyed it, but uh, I haven't seen it in a while, so I kind of forgot about it. You should definitely watch Legacy. I, I know. I, I need to watch those. It's I not do. bad. It's not right. bad. Um, all right. So 
we are talking about the Master Sword in the Time. Okay, Master so sword. now, now remember you say, when you have full energy. I know it has Chris, a, it's a projectile. You're, you're a little lazy today. I'm not gonna lie. Uh -huh. Today you won't don't have full energy. So if you were wielding the Power Sword, it wouldn't be shooting. Right. Yeah. It's you know. Yeah. It's it's essence. Right. Um, and Mario, I, I remember the trailer, and the movie looks fantastic. Oh no! It's, listen, going back to Trailer Legacy, you know, yeah, just, just just watch it, all right. Just watch art it, style, right? And, you know, just watch like, it, ready. Is it on? Is it on Disney Plus? I might have to check it out. It Disney. probably is, but like I said, I have it on Blu-ray. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> anyway, yeah. Back to this. Okay. The, divergent aside, Master Sword or or Mario's Hammer? I'm listen. Mario's hammer you could throw in is multiple. Okay, so you're saying the one from Mario Brothers, he's holding it. I mean, ultimately, it's up to you. Right? If you consider it, it's not a, it's not, I don't have firearms on here. I mean, technically, you could throw anything. You could throw the power glove if you want. You could throw you know, right, it, and it becomes a projectile, so, right? Yeah. Um, so, anyway, listen, so, I'm going to, I'm going to push the Master Sword forward. All right, Master because, Sword. Because, no. be, because it's, 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 again, at full charge, you can use it as a projectile, it has a thing. And also, it's just, you know, it's just, it's a cooler weapon. I mean, the hammer's a hammer, you know? That's true. Uh, all right. Wow. Next one. Wolverine's, Wolverine's claws. claws. And Ash's Chainsaw from uh, Evil Dead 2 uh, slash Army of Darkness slash... Man. That's it. Because yeah, Ash versus Evil Dead doesn't count because it's... In the what about, what about Ash versus... Yeah, that, he doesn't have it in that? It's in the future. He, he does, but it's in the future. So. Okay. I'm just saying, like, you know... So Evil Dead 2 me? and Army of Darkness, Evil Dead 3, right? Okay. I, love, I do love Evil Dead 3, though. It's my favorite. Um, Wolverine's Claws. But, you know, Wolverine's Claws, man, they are... Adamantium. They're adamantium, man. I mean, they did get broken one time. Didn't they, in that one movie? Um, nah, man, that's a, oh, man, that's rough. Okay, uh, <laughs> Ash has changed, yeah... It's kind of weird. It's kind of hard to. Hey, work it is without the. Oh yeah, it yeah, is. yeah. The the thing is, yeah, you're right. It's only one person can use them. It's only gonna be Wolverine. Well, we're we're gonna say that you can use them. Yeah. Oh man, what do I like better? Are they rad? Yes or no? I'm not saying you're gonna put them in your back yeah, pocket. They DW. Rad, yeah, they rad. Yeah, they rad. Yeah. What's radder though? But you know what? Honestly, okay, a chainsaw attached to an arm is pretty rad. But <laughs> having metal claws come out of your hand is a little bit more radder. Is it? Yeah. I'm pushing Wolverine's claws. Yeah, yeah it's Wolverine's claws. All right. yeah. Wolverine. Wolverine's going forward. Good job. Good job. All right. Um, so there you go. Yeah. Next side. What do we have? I can't see. You can slide it, sl slide it closer to you. Also, your video's a little crap right now. So Fine. maybe just check your yeah, internet real just, quick. Yeah, check your internet real quick. So um, read it to the me. Sword of Omens. The Sword of Omens. Versus the Glaive. The Glaive. What's the, the Glaive, glaive from? The gl Glaive from Krull. Yup. The Sword of Omens. No pain, no gain. No pain, no gain. Yeah, that's true. Um, what do we have? What's happening okay, here? Okay, Sword of Omens. Sword of Omens. Sight thunder, Beyond thunder, Sight. Thunder, Thunder, Thunder. Right? You have Sight Beyond Sight. It's a it's a dagger, short sword slash long sword. Um, mm -hmm. You could throw it. You can yeah. It can get big and get. I mean yeah. I mean it's got it's it's a it's a versatile it's a versatile weapon. Um, the Pretty glaive sweet. on the other hand, it's got it's one. A it's, it's a one trick pony. What can you do with that thing? You just throw it. Am I right? <laughs> You're just throwing that uh, thing. Now, is it rad though? You're right. It, is it rad? It is. It, it is, is a pretty, pretty rad. rad weapon. I mm. love, you know, I love the glaive. It was really cool how shiny it was in the movie and everything. It was so good. They made it so shiny. I tell you what, I'm gonna tell you about the glaive here, Chris, because it seems like you you're not you're not giving the glaive uh, I'm not full giving credit the for glaive the benefit of the glaive. Yep. Um. Tell me about the glaive. Are you ready? You can't handle the glaive. <laughs> you can't handle the glaive. Tell me about the glaive. Oh, the internet's just working. The internet's not. Crawl yeah. uh, glaive. Do we need Let's to pause for a second? Or is your internet? Me? Has, has your internet. Yeah. Do we need, is your internet all right? I don't know. If mine. I mean, I guess it would be. 
How, what's it look like? Is it still connected to your phone? Because we have to just make sure because the video isn't looking great right now, but that's okay. And I'm leaving this all in, by the way. It doesn't matter. This is real life, people. This is real life. This is, this is, this is I'll life. tell you, my internet's fine because I'm telling you right now, my it's, stream is... It's still under it. <clears throat> my still there. Oh, um, they... it's, a mystical, it's a mystical five-pointed weapon used by Colwyn, what Prince Colwyn, if I'm not mistaken, right? Yeah, don't cover your mouth because you're um, not near the mic. Only hope to defeat the beast, rescue Lissa. Gotcha. Um, he takes it from a cave high in the mountains, pulls it from the magma. Chris, I don't think the Sword of Omens had anything to do with magma. Pulled it from the magma. It can cut through solid substances, disperse energy blasts with ease, and it's shown to be able to kill slayers in one stroke. Yeah. Um, it was embedded into the beast chest after it was slain, um, and the Black Fortress was pulled into space to destruction. Okay, so whatever. That's all. The uh, ultimate fate of the grave re glaive remains unclear, but it's unlikely such a powerful weapon can be lost. Oh man! Yeah, yeah. You gotta do Probably me a favor and talk more towards the mic when you re when you. Yeah. I got gotcha. you. Thank you. Is that better? Yeah, it's better. Um. Dang. <clears throat> Battle of the Raddest. What's radder? The Sword of Omens or the Glaive? Okay, so Sword of Omens and Glaive. Raddest, Chris. What's the raddest? I don't know, because I was going to say... Oh, come on with this camera now. I was going to say it was the Sword of Omens, but now you got me thinking the Glaive is something. Mm, man. Uh... I don't know, I man. I'm giving... I... I'm, just real quick, you you hold on. Rancid, it is a stupid Aris uh, modem, and it's garbage. You're right. It probably is that stupid piece of garbage. They are garbage, yeah. But it doesn't have Wi-Fi built in. I have a separate no, one. Yeah, it's anyway, uh, yeah, so back to it. Sword of Omens, Glaive. <sighs> I know which one you're pushing for, man. Come on. Don't even the Sword of Omens, yeah. Just don't even pretend you're not going to push that. I am. It's just because it's, it's, it's good, man, because it's good. It's just it's a little more versatile. The Glaive is very cool and definitely rad, but Sword of Omens, man, sight beyond sight. Shut up. All right, no problem. Atlantean Sword versus Michelangelo's Nunchucks. Okay, Atlantean Sword from where? Onan. Oh, that's what it was called, the Atlantean Sword? I wow, I didn't realize that. Well, I Michelangelo's it up, Nunchucks. It I don't know if it was in the books that way. I don't know. Whatever. Michelangelo's I don't know much about Onan. Nunchucks. Yeah. I never watched much Conan, but I did watch a lot of Conan. Conan, yeah. And he didn't have a sword. <laughs> yeah, Motorola's off brand. It is. That's yeah. They, well, it even says it on there too. Um, oh, really? Uh, okay, Mike's nunchucks or the Atlantean sword from the original Conan, the Barbabs. Just the, the Barbabs, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Conan Bar Barboa. Uh, yeah. What is what is Conan's sword do? It's just a sword. It's got a cool it's a big um, sword. <laughs> rip above the the uh, the hilt. Yeah, it's yeah. A, the the above the the the, the guard the blade. Yeah. Yeah, 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 but Mike's nunchucks are just they are just wooden nunchucks. Are they rad though, Chris? They are rad. Nunchucks are rad. Dang so it! So rad nunchucks are moving. Is that what, is that what you're telling me? What's a radder weapon? Nunchucks or sword? Big old two-handed sword. It's like a claymore, right? It's a big sword. Oh, yeah. It's a big sword. Mikey's, Mikey's nunchucks are pretty rad, though. All right. Pull up <laughs> Mikey's nunchucks. Did he have two? He had two, right? He had two, yeah. They all they all have two, except Donatello. We only had one. That'd be cool if he had one two bow. Bows. All right. There you go. All right. Next, we have the power sword, which is known as... Um, the Sword of Grey Skull or whatever. Right. Um, and we have Indiana Jones's whip, which, yeah, he used it a little bit to disarm people or swing across, uh, you know, gaps. All or, right. So you've given. OK, see, so you've, you've said it right there for me. A whip is just a whip, but the power sword is what gives Prince Adam his powers like that's turns rad. Cringer into a battle. He, he turns Cringer into a battle cat. Armor By pointing it at him. All right, give me the sword. Like Cringer, every Power episode, sword. dude, Cringer wants no part of anything, and He Man's like, too bad, and he Shut points up, it out. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. I wish I could point a sword at my cat to have it stop like pooping on the carpet. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Move the power sword. All right. Power sword moving. All right. And last, Chris, <laughs> what do we have? I, I'm blocking with my arm. I'm so sorry. Yeah, you got it. Freddy's glove. It says Freddy's glove. Versus Chuck, Chuck Norris. Norris. You're saying Chuck Norris as a weapon. Chuck Norris is... He is a blunt force weapon. He but there's is. no contest. You're moving Chuck Norris. I mean... Chuck Norris is going over Freddy's glove? Really? Yeah. yeah. I guess Freddy's glove can only be used in the dream world. It can only be used in the dream world. I guess he can come into the real world. And, and it's use. grody. It is, a little, it is a little grody looking. It's a little rusty. You might get tetanus from it. And I'll tell you what. If it ever oh, came sorry, down... Oh, sorry. Lockjaw. You might you get, get locked. Lockjaw. Yeah, well, yeah, you need a tetanus shot. You're not going to get locked jaw from Chuck Norris. No, you're going to get a broke jaw from Chuck Norris. <laughs> so, uh, uh, right, you get good. a, uh-huh, woo, woo. You get a, <laughs> now, I'll just tell you, Wolverine's claws versus Freddy's gloves, obviously. Wolverine's claws would tear through those, that the oh, yeah. thing. Absolutely. All right, all right, so we're power back over on the side of the board. Identity disc. Identity disc versus the power glove. This is this. I'm I'm moving the identity disc, man. It's identity yeah. glove. Identity right. disc because again, it's a powered item. The power glove, yes. even though it has the word power in it, it also contains your essence. Exactly, your, like it contains right? you. Yeah, like the power glove can't. It just it's can't. Like contain you're nogging, that. You wear it on your back. I you know what I'm do. saying? I don't know, man. The raddest out of those two is gonna be identity disc. It's such a good thing. All right, uh, Master Sword or Wolverine's claws. What are the raddest? Man, listen, Master Sword is just a sword. It's a powered it sword claws, yeah. at times, but claws come out of his flipping hands, man. Yep. Push that's those claws that's pretty rad, dude. Push those claws through, man. Pushing them, pushing them. As if you're pushing them out of your own hand. Push them, push them, push through. them. Through. Here, right. what do we have here? We got Sword of sword Omens of versus Michelangelo's Nunchucks from TMNT. Mikey's nunchucks are cool, but they're just wood. Sword of Omens has sight beyond sight. It gives Lionel power. It, did we even talk about the fact that it can make a huge? The logo can can can. Oh, the pop, light. Can, yeah. Can call the other Thundercats. Yeah, kind of like that. Batman. It is. Yeah, exactly. Push it's that. It's basically push like it. an automated version of uh, Commissioner Gordon. Right, yeah. Well, no, he does right. it when he needs the help. He does it. He does it in, at I the I know, same... but it's like you don't so need the middle man. The context out the middle is man. The it's basically like Batman putting out his own bat signal. Ex well, well, yeah. Well, calling I mean, himself. Right calling here. himself, yeah. yeah calling him... <laughs> All right. Push it forward. Um, Come on. Sword of Omens. Sword of Omens? Yeah, right. of course, yeah. Boom. Power Sword versus Chuck Norris. So, okay. All right, power sword. We said power sword can turn things into, you know, like cringery. Can turn wimps into heroes. Yeah. But Chuck Norris is Chuck Norris. <laughs> He's pretty, pretty rad, Chris. You know, Chuck Norris is pretty rad. Chuck Norris has got his own. He's got another fist in his beard. Yeah, it's pretty sweet, right? Chuck Norris fought Bruce Lee. Yeah. Chuck Norris was killed by Bruce Lee. You know why he was killed by Bruce Lee, right? Because he didn't have his beard back then. Oh, gotcha. The beard, it's in the strength. It's like Samson's hair. Yeah. It's Chuck Norris's beard. Push Chuck Norris through. <laughs> All right. We're getting there. Down to down to four. Uh, round one, it's round two, weird. round three. <laughs> it's just weird. It's just like... Go, you got the identity disc versus Wolverine's claws. It's like, it's weird. It's like... What what, what, do, you, what do you... What do you... What's the... What Dang uses it. rad? What uses 80s? What does it? What does it for you, man? Okay, against the identity disc, it's like... I don't know. I just feel like they're now they're just claws now. I feel like against the identity disc. Because the identity I, disc... Know, right? like when, you, when you look at it that way, it's kind of like, hold on a second. They're just It's just a bunch of knives. Yeah. That, you know, I mean, yeah, like, they're was, rad. Is Hugh Jackman even born in the 80s, Chris? I mean, probably not. Probably not. I mean, he's probably you know what born, I mean? But he was definitely the, born before the '80s. But the identity disc was born in the '80s. Hey, it's a joke. It was I just know. a joke. It was the, the identity disc was born in movies. of the uh, '80s, man. That's of but, the '80s, bro. Yeah, the identity disc. Yeah, yeah. I mean, both are relevant in today's day and age. And yeah, I right? mean, they they have had we all have adamantium claws and identity discs. You yeah. Know. Um, I'm Remember, gonna. This this was in the video games too. I know. Yeah. Right, that uh, deadly discs, right? I mean, yeah. this was adamantium rage. 
You know what? Okay, you know what? Uh, you're gonna push identity disc. It, it, it beats out to me. Oh, it's 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 going it's to the more, finals. It's more rad than the than the claws. It's just it's just pretty, a rad weapon. It is. It is pretty rad. Um, sort of omens versus Chuck Norris. Listen. What's more versatile? Which one would you like to have on your hip? Chuck Norris, of course. Of course. Hanging from your I just, of course you want to have Chuck Norris in your back pocket. Of course that's what's going to happen. Listen. He's like what, a Swiss army knife. He's a Swiss. Yeah, listen. What you don't realize is that if he you basically had, has, he probably pops out of your pocket with his own sort of omens. That, well, that's what I'm saying. Like, you need the sort of omens to, you know, to call your friends. If you have Chuck Norris, you don't have to call anybody. You're not calling. <laughs> he's not calling anybody. You're not calling anybody. You're just using Chuck Norris. Yeah. So Chuck Norris beats sort of omens. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, Chuck Norris versus the Tron Identity Discs. Okay. So See, this this to me to, to me Chris, <laughs> it started down here Chuck Norris right. Yeah. Up here you kind of omitted the lightsaber because you're like it's gonna go all the way. Like there's no there's no fun in that. And I didn't read. That's Chuck how I feel with Chuck Norris. I feel like he's gonna go all the way. Well, listen. I mean, it's up ultimately. It's up to you, but. Yeah. Uh, identity disc, Chuck Norris. What do you have? I mean, look, we all know, we all do know where this is going to go. Had had that been an identity disc, ha, I mean, had it been a lightsaber there instead of identity disc, had it been the master sword, had it been the flame, it doesn't matter what would have been there because Chuck Norris could beat a lightsaber. You could go to chop Chuck Norris up with a lightsaber, and guess what? Not getting through. It's not. <laughs> it's not happening. So Not you're going to say Chuck the raddest Norris weapon is the raddest weapon of the eighties. Yes. Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. Raddest gold. weapon of all. That's it. You know, the upset. Yeah. Right? Rancid says we also Indy's gun was a real winner when he knew the whip couldn't work against the sword. This is true. This is true. You're right. Yeah. But we, but Kenny, what Kenny concocted here was no, um, uh, projectile weapons. I mean, as we said earlier, any of these things could become projectile weapons. But yeah, you could throw Chuck Norris at somebody if you wanted to. Oh, Chuck Norris throws himself. But, so Chuck Norris throws you know, his Chuck fist. Chuck Norris honestly probably is walking around right now with his own identity disc on his back, wearing a power glove, oh, yeah. uh, wielding you know w- wielding a lightsaber, a flame whip, in a in a Hammer Brothers suit. He's probably got the shell on his back yeah. with the identity disc. Spinning in a it, glaive on his finger. With his other hand. Uh, Ash's chainsaw. He's probably got Wolverine claws in his beard. Yeah, coming out his toes. Um, yeah, he's definitely got his own uh, sort of omens, glaive, Atlantean sword. That's what I'm saying. Chuck Norris is the ultimate raddest, b- yeah. baddest yeah. weapon. Yep. It can be only one, Kenny, and it is the Chuck Norris. Norris. It is the Chuck Norris. Good job, Chuck Norris. You, you did just it. won. Excuse me. You've done it again, Chuck. You've done Good job. It again. Uh, all right, we did it. That was we did the, it. That was the the raddest weapons of the eighties. Yep, raddest weapons of the eighties. Um, I mean, I don't know what else to say. That was that was that was that was good. That was that was that was pretty good, man. That was pretty good. I like these ones that you're coming up with. They're pretty good. Yep. Pretty, That's not all. Pretty. We got more. We got more. more coming. Got them all written down already. Right there now. No. Plus Talk. Chuck. In the total oh, gym. You know what? That's he's got the total gym. You're right. Him and who else was it? Christy Brinkley. Who was he with? What was Christy. the who was the lady that he was doing that with? Christy Alley. I don't know. It wasn't Christy Alley. Oh God, no. I love Christy Alley, but she wouldn't be caught. Dead. Angela Lansbury. No, that would have been awesome. No. Though. He's lifting. Meredith up. Baxter Bernie. Meredith Baxter Bernie. Oh yeah. Um, no, uh, it was Christy Brinkley. I was right. Didn't I just say Christy Brinkley? I was right. The Uptown Girl. Um, 80s icons. Hey, man, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Having said that, uh, hey, listen, that was it. That was Battle of the Raddest. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Um, what else is there? There's nothing else to say, you know? To say? No, I mean, we hope everyone's doing well. Uh, oh, if you know if you want to get to us, obviously you know where you can get to us at. Do you even '80s bro on every single thing that mm-hmm. we're on, which is mainly the what's on the screen? Uh, Kenneth, tell me, tell us an '80s thing. I'm never. It's so funny. We've been doing this for so long, and I'm never prepared for this, that question. <laughs> it starts to like. 
it starts to like come to a head, like it starts to build up because I know it's coming and I try to think of something real quick and it just doesn't work. It never works because you're like, it oh, never I'll figure works. something out. Think the of the 80s, 80s are weapon. 80s the, weapon, you know. The, 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 the 80s are the, the mountain lion of, of decades, man. Yeah. That, um, sure. Thanks for watching. We'll you, see it. We'll can see you it. get your own cable modem? See, that's one of those things that I never knew if you could well, do. We'll talk about that after, but everyone, that's it for this episode. If you're in chat, stick around. If you're watching, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next episode. Bye. Bye.